All right, this is a introduction to my new mod, the Silk Touch Spawners mod for the Fabric Mod Loader. Uh, the mod is available for 1.16, um, so that's 1.16, you know, zero through five, um, and will soon be available for 1.17 as well. And in this video, I'll be showing you the overview on how the Silk Touch Spawners mod works, um, how it's a little bit different uh, than your standard Silk Touch Spawners uh, type mod. Uh, it's based on a data pack that one of my good friends uh, had made a, a few months back. Um, it just has a, a, a few other features. So I'll be creating a new world um now this mod uh it can be uh purely server side it will work uh just fine uh on a server uh the clients do not need it to be installed um but here i'm just going into a single player world um and i put cheats on so i could uh jump in and add a creative um, now with the Silk Touch Spawners mod, if you are in creative, you have a 100% chance uh, to drop a spawn egg, uh, which I'll show you here in a moment. And to actually craft a spawner, if you look in the recipe here, it actually requires a pig egg. So one pig egg, uh, four iron bars, and four blocks of obsidian in this pattern will get you a spawner. <clears throat> uh, obviously, you can also pick up any spawner that you find in the world as long as you have a Silk Touch pickaxe. So what I'm gonna do right now is go into creative, grab a pickaxe, and let's enchant it with Silk Touch. <clears throat> So now if I have a spawner in the world, like so, place down by default, all spawners are pig spawners. Break it, it will drop a spawner and as it's lore, it will say the type of spawner that it is. And uh, with a sword, um, if you kill uh, <clears throat> a mob uh, with any weapon, um, without any looting, it will have a one in a thousand chance of dropping a um, an egg. And if you kill them with looting one, It'll have a uh, three out of a thousand chance. Looting two has six out of a thousand, and looting three will have nine out of a thousand. Um, as I said previously, if you are in creative mode, uh, it will have a one hundred percent chance of dropping one. So, for example, there it goes. I just immediately picked it up. Uh, so if we go and find ourselves a. Let's see. Um, let's find us a mine shaft. That sounds good. And let's go into spectator. Let's go down. Let's find ourselves a nice, uh, naturally generating spawner. I don't believe I'm going to have much luck in doing so. <clears throat> well, I can show you um, one of the really good uses for this. If we grab ourselves a... Let's go into creative. Let's grab a skeleton. So let's say we killed whole bunch of skeletons and we're able to get ourselves a skeleton spawn egg. Now what we could do, place down any spawner, in this case we have our pig spawner here, or we have our normal spawner which is also a pig spawner, 
<clears throat> and right click the spawner with our spawn egg. Now this will convert the spawner into a skeleton spawner. And if it was night, the skeletons would be spawning. Let me put myself in survival. And as you can see, with a silk touch pickaxe, picking it up, it now says that we have ourselves a skeleton spawner. And obviously once you get a pig spawner, uh, it does make it a lot easier to get spawners in the future because then you have a steady supply of pigs. Uh, so I will uh, wrap this up with just showing you the crafting recipe. Um, I realized I showed it in J R REI, uh, but uh, it just makes it easier to show. So obsidian, one, two, three, four. Um, iron bars, one, two, three, four. And a crafting table. Place that down. Place the pig spawn egg in the middle. And just like that. Now, when you craft it, it will not say pig spawner. Uh, that is because with Minecraft, I can't, uh, give the the outcome i can't set the crafting recipe result to have a name or to have any custom nbt so it's giving you a very very basic pig spawner um then you can place it down and make it any kind of spawner you want so if i grab a cow spawn egg do that and there we go now the mod is currently under review on the Curse uh, Forge website. By the time this video goes live, hopefully the mod will be available. Um, and yeah, so you guys can check it out. Again, this does not require uh, it to be installed on the client. It is only required server side and it does require the Fabric API. All right, other than that, you guys are awesome. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.